Hey, Hattrix fans, welcome inside the Atrix Lounge inside the Danbury Ice Arena. I'm Doug Latuka. He's head coach Billy McQuery. This is another episode of Catching Up with McQuery. And first off, coach, congratulations on the baby. Have you gotten much sleep lately? No, not a lot, but uh, just enjoying every minute of it for sure. This is the second baby you've had, of course, Isla. She's been on Catching Up with McQuery this season. Now, William, anything different from baby number one to baby number two? A uh, completely different experience than, than Isla's birth, but, um, you know, mom and baby are happy and healthy, and that's all we can ask for. Have you had much time to think about hockey, or has it been family first over the last couple of days? No, definitely the last couple of days, uh, you know, getting to turn the attention here towards Motor City and, and what we have going on here this weekend. But, you know, great leadership in the room. We've got Matt Voidy here. He's been an, an excellent assistant coach for me for four years, and, you know, the boys have been working hard here this week. Coming off that three-game uh, losing streak uh, against Binghamton on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, did some good things. We spoke a little bit off-camera about that. Uh, what were your takeaways from those three games against the top team right now in the Empire Division? Well, certainly we have we still have some work to do. You know, our specialty teams uh, has to find another level, and specifically our power play. And you know, five on five, I think we're getting there, but you know, we, we need to find our identity and we need to find that consistently. And uh, when we play to our identity, we're a very good team. And when we get away from that um, and we become a bit inconsistent, you know, we, we, we fight to, to get back into games. And, you know, I think this weekend the, the preparation has, has been about, you know, being at home, using our energy, playing Danbury hockey, being physical and, and, you know, getting back to our brand. You mentioned the identity and Danbury hockey. What specifically is that? Uh, I mean, we everybody always thinks about you know being hard to play against and being physical, and those things are true. But it's it's hitting the details, it's getting to the net, it's it's protecting our net, it's uh, winning the walls, it's winning the physical battles when it calls for them. It's you know owning those mo- those moments that give us momentum, especially in our building. And uh, this is a special place to play. We need to honor it, and and we need to uh, you know defend our home ice here tonight. You've spoken about special teams a bunch this season, specifically the penalty kill too, where you guys can use that as energy to build on your offense and potentially strike on the power play. Most penalized team in the league this year. You guys were up there last year as well. We shift to the power play a little bit, and it seems as though last year you guys struggled throughout the regular season, picked it up at the end, and then in the playoffs you guys had the best power play in the playoffs of any team there. Is this unit close to breaking out, or is there still a lot of work that needs to be done on both of the power play units to start converting? There's definitely work that needs to be done, but the guys are putting that work in throughout the week, and you know we like what we're seeing, and you know, we're not making too many adjustments. Like you said last year, we we rode our power play all year, and you know I I remember taking some some pretty big heat there from from people that you know thought that changes needed to be made and personnel and this that the other thing and you know that's that's all well and good but at the end of the day we stuck to our process we stuck to our plan and and it it paid off in the most uh, you know extreme moment for us in playoffs and and the guys really just bought in and you know found a way to have success in the biggest moments so you know, we need to continue to just pound the rock and build off of what we've been doing here. We don't need to reinvent the wheel, but we certainly need to kind of up our intensity, uh, up our urgency. And, and if we do that, I think this these units are close to breaking out. Motor City comes to town for the only two games against the Rockers this season, both of them at home. The new divisional realignment, so Motor City is in Blue Ridge, goes to the Continental. What are your thoughts on only playing Motor City twice and then being in the division when you play Binghamton 18 times, you've got Elmira and Watertown 10 plus times? Yeah, listen, I, I mean, I've, I've been in the minors for a long time. I've been in this league for many years. And, you know, if I got caught up in, in why things happen, I'd, my head would probably still be spinning, spinning yeah. here, Doug. So I don't get caught up on, you know, why those guys make the decisions that mm-hmm. they make it, you know, to me, does it make sense when you look at it? No, mm-hmm. um, but you know we're we're here. We have a game to play this weekend. We have a game to play tomorrow, and it doesn't matter our opponent how many times we play them, where they are, where they're located geographically. You know we're here to dominate. We're here to be our best, and and that's what we demand of the boys tonight. 
since you only play them two times, this is the first time you're seeing them this season. What should we expect from this Rockers team second in the Empire Division? Might be a little of a surprise to the rest of the league how well they're doing this year? Uh, maybe just because, you know, they're their new organization mm -hmm. and, um, you know, they really do some some good things there. And I, I've, I, I'm kind of blessed to know their ownership group. Mm -hmm. I, I know their coach, Gordy Brown, for a long time, you know, close family friends. So, you know, I, I know what they preach. I know what they're about at the top. And, and that certainly, you know, trickles on down to their players. And, and Coach Brown is, a, you know, he demands physicality, he demands 200-foot game, all the things that bring success to, success to a hockey team. And, you know, they've been having success in the early season. So, you know, it's going to be a good, another good matchup here and a challenge for us this weekend. You guys have been searching for consistency all season. It's been a lot of up and down. And right now you guys are in a bit of a lull. In terms of the line combinations, it seems like you've tried to keep things more consistent as of late. Yes, there's been a lot less in and out for roster moves in terms of guys uh, being signed and guys going away. Are you comfortable with the guys you have right now and the lines that they have? Or the, is the team feeling pretty good about who they're playing with? This Yeah, I think if you talk to the guys, they, they enjoy you know their, their line mates. They enjoy what we have going on right now. But it... it it really doesn't matter about how much fun we're having. It matters the, the production that we're, that we're getting on a day-to-day -day basis. So I haven't, you know, I, I don't feel the need to reinvent the wheel or, you know, really uh, change things up dramatically. Let's just, you know, continue to make some minor tweaks here and continue to, to show these players that we have faith in them, we believe in them, you know, continue to build this family. And, and we can only do that through fighting through adversity. And that's the best way to build a family. So. What we're going through now, we'd rather go through it now than going through it later on and in playoffs and things like that. So an opportunity for us to grow, an opportunity for us to become a tighter group. I mean, and you guys only played two games in the month of November. Finally back home for now three straight, two against Motor City and then back against Watertown next week. How does it feel to be here for a full weekend, get to play in front of the fans who – if you look back to last weekend, the one game that they got after three weeks away, they were pretty amped up. Should be an exciting one tonight. Yeah, it's usually a great environment here. And, you know, we have to come in and, and build off of that energy and, and make sure that, you know, our guys are playing with physicality and, and sticking to our identity. And, you know, when we do that, this place is rocking and the roof's shaking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is one of the, you know, the premier places to play in this league. So we're excited to create that atmosphere tonight. And it's on us to get that job done. You guys missing a couple of key defensemen on the back end. Of course, Kyle Gonzalez on IR, not quite ready to be activated. A couple other names that haven't exactly been finalized for tonight as out, but they are dealing with some uh, nicks and bruises. How do you guys counter missing some of the leadership and some of the stability on the back end, um, especially against a team like Motor City that you're a little unfamiliar with? I mean, it's just a great opportunity for some of our younger guys to be in be in situations that they might not be in if you had the Gonzalez in the lineup, mm -hmm. you know, Jared Yao in the lineup. Mm -hmm. So opportunity for young guys to step in and show what they can do. And, you know, listen, this is a business. It's it's a tough business to be in. And, you know, when, when you have guys that are coming back off IR and, and getting healthy, um, you know, some guys have to go. So it's an opportunity for guys to really show that they can be here, show what they can do, and, and show what they can bring to our team and our organization. Similar to our fill-in-the-blank question, we'll do our key of the night. The Hattricks win tonight against Motor City with this one key. What is that? Win the net front battles. If, if we can defend our net and, and, you know, win those battles and we can get to their net and win those battles, uh, if we win the net front battles, we're going to win the game tonight. Muck it up in the crease. That's the message from head coach Billy McQuarrie. Hattricks have two games against Motor City tonight and tomorrow here at the Danbury Arena.